Ever wondered about the ancient civilizations that thrived long before our time? What about the Chavin people, a civilization that once flourished in the northern Andean highlands of Peru? This, this, this mysterious civilization, whose true name remains lost to history, left an indelible mark on the landscape and culture of Peru between 900 BCE and 250 He. The Chavin people are best known for their grand ceremonial center, Chavin de Huantar. This awe-inspiring complex is a testament to their architectural prowess, artistic creativity, and deep spiritual beliefs. Nestled in the highlands, Chavin de Huantar was more than a mere gathering place. It was a sacred site, a nexus of religious power and social, a tangible manifestation of the Chavin worldview. But who, who were the Chavin people? Were more than just architects and artists, were farmers, metalworkers, and possibly even shamans. Cultivated crops like potatoes, quinoa, and maize, and domesticated animals such as llamas for wool, meat, and transportation. They also mastered a sophisticated form of metalworking, silver soldering techniques that were advanced for their time. Their civilization evolved over time, from a hunter-gatherer society to an agricultural one. This transition was likely driven by both environmental changes and internal social dynamics. As they became more complex, so too did their architectural and artistic achievements. The legacy of the Chavin people is still being uncovered today. Recent archaeological, archaeological discoveries have shed new light on their way of life, their beliefs, and their technological capabilities. From studies of Chavin de Huantar that reveal the site's auditory phenomena, to the discovery of psychoactive plants that hint at shamanic practices, each new finding adds another layer to our understanding of this enigmatic civilization. As we delve, we delve deeper. We begin to see the Chavin people in a new light, just as builders, but as pioneers of a culture that continues to amaze us. So let's embark on this journey to the past, to uncover the story of the Chavin people and their remarkable legacy. The Chavin people were not just builders, they were innovators, artists, and perhaps even mystics. From from the labyrinthine corridors of Chavin de Huantar, whispers of an ancient civilization echo, revealing intriguing secrets. Recent acoustical studies suggest that the temple complex was far more than an architectural marvel. It was a meticulously designed space that resonated with specific sounds, creating an auditory phenomenon that could have been used for religious ceremonies or to amplify the perceived power of the elite. Imagine the haunting soundscapes that once permeated these stone halls, shaping the spiritual life of the Chavin people. But the Chavin's mysterious depths don't end there. Evidence of psychoactive plants like Vilca, also known as Yopo, have been found within the temple complex. These mind-altering substances hint at the incorporation of shamanic practices into their rituals. They might have even influenced the Chavin's artistic expression and religious beliefs, adding yet another layer of enigma to their worldview. Yet the Chavin were not only spiritualists and artists, they also skilled technologists. Unearthed traces of silver soldering techniques reveal a level of metalworking sophistication that was previously unknown for this period in the Andes. Their ability to manipulate and craft metal with such finesse speaks volumes their technological prowess. The Chavin were a civilization of many facets. They were architects of sound, explorers of the mind, and masters of metal. Each new discovery peels back another layer, revealing a civilization that was far more advanced and complex than previously falls. And so, our understanding of the Chavin people continues to evolve. Each unearthed artifact, each carving, each echo in the stone halls of Chavin de Huantar brings us closer to a civilization that was once shrouded in mystery. Discoveries are transforming our understanding of the Chavin people, revealing a civilization far more complex and sophisticated than we could have imagined. The Chavin civilization underwent three distinct phases, each contributing to the overall development of their society. The Urabaryu phase, from 900 to 500 BCE, marked the inception of their grandeur, it's during this time that we the rise of the Grand Temple Complex at Chavin de Huantar, hinting at the emergence of a powerful religious elite. The Chakinani phase, 500 to 400 BCE, opened up a new chapter of expansion. The Chavin influence extended beyond their immediate region, with trade networks flourishing and their distinctive artistic motifs finding their way to coastal settlements. 
Then came the Harabaryu phase, 400 to 250 BCE, where we witness a decline in the dominance of Chavin de Huantar. However, their artistic influence didn't fade away. It continued to resonate and inspire later Andean cultures. As their dominance waned, the Chavin people's influence continued to reverberate through the ages. The legacy of the Chavin people is perhaps best encapsulated by Chavin de Huantar, a testament to their architectural and artistic prowess. This curves. This labyrinthine temple complex was constructed with precision cut stones, forming a U-shaped plaza, a sunken court, and a network of interconnected galleries. Its design was likely intended for controlled access and to create dramatic light effects that would have mesmerized the ancient visitors. And at the heart of the temple lies the Lanzon monolith, an awe-inspiring stone sculpture of a fanged deity. This formidable figure likely served as the centerpiece for religious ceremonies and a potent symbol of the ruling elite's power. The Chavin people were not just builders but also skilled artisans. The temple walls are adorned intricate carvings of jaguars, condors, and serpents, showcasing their artistic brilliance and deep connection with the natural world. The Chavin people, through their monumental masterpiece, have left us a window into their world, a civilization that continues to captivate us with its complexity and ingenuity. Before we wrap things up, we'd love to hear from you. What fascinates you the most about the Chavin civilization? Is it their architectural wonders, their artistic mastery, or their profound connection with nature? Or perhaps it's the enigma that surrounds their culture and practices. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to embark on this archaeological journey together, unraveling the mysteries of the past. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more deep dives into ancient civilizations, and click the bell icon to be notified about our future explorations. Your likes, shares, and comments help us bring more such intriguing content to you. So, engage, speculate, and let's keep the conversation about the Chavin civilization alive. Stay tuned for more.